We want to switch gears a little bit right now. According to data from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, last year California and more, had more than 181,000 homeless individuals, up more than 30 percent since 2007. But Los Angeles County is testing out artificial intelligence to help find people before they lose housing. Kate Rogers joins us now with this story. Kate. Hi, Melissa. Good morning. L.A. County's Homelessness Prevention Unit has intervened with nearly 800 individuals and families using artificial intelligence to identify people most at risk of losing housing to offer money to help them with housing costs. The program relies on a model developed by the California Policy Lab at UCLA. It uses data from seven different L.A. County departments anonymized for privacy, including emergency room visits, behavioral health care, and public benefits programs from food stamps to income support and homelessness services. At-risk individuals like Courtney Peterson are found. Peterson was laid off from her job working for a now-shuttered inpatient transitional living program in December and worried she wouldn't be able to pay rent for herself and her seven-year-old son. I feared that I was gonna have to leave my apartment. Um, you know, I feared that I was gonna have to take my son to like a, a homeless shelter or family shelter. Peterson said she and her son received some $8,000 from the county program to cover rent, utilities, and basic needs, allowing her to stay put in her apartment while she looks for a new job. The program is largely funded by American Rescue Plan Act dollars. Individuals and families receive between four dollars and $8,000 to help cover expenses and stay housed. That's a fraction of the nearly $36,000 that a chronically homeless person costs taxpayers a year. And 86% of these people retain permanent housing once they leave the program, according to the county. The solution is preventative and key for a state that has spent $24 billion in the last few years to tackle homelessness. Compared to the cost, both financially and from a human trauma perspective, that a person or a jurisdiction incurs when you have such a massive population of people sleeping outside, $4,000 to keep somebody in their housing um, is more cost effective. Ethicists do raise the concern, of course, about AI being utilized by governments, especially around issues of informed consent and privacy of anonymous data. But in L.A., help is reaching at least some of the at-risk population when they really need it. Melissa, back over to you. Kate, that's sad about people finding permanent housing after receiving this initial help. Mm -hmm. Does that imply that they found a job, that this has actually helped them bridge that gap so they can they can be gainfully employed? Yeah, that's a great question. So the program does also offer career counseling. So I spoke with Courtney's caseworker, for example, and she's helping to work with Courtney on that issue. But yes, they wind up at an 86 percent rate staying in some form of permanent housing. And the program checks up with them again uh, at six months, 12 months and 18 months. And they're currently putting together a longer term study to test the effectiveness here.